<laughs> okay, today we're going to learn how to do a water test okay. and we're going to carry out a full range mm -hmm. on your average tropical tank. Okay. We're going to use the API Master Test Kit and we'll run you through each of the tests we're going to do. We're going to do a pH, an ammonia, a nitrite and a nitrate. Now the pH comes in two different bottles, one for a low range pH which will read 6 to 7.8 and one for a high range pH which will read 7.4 to 8.8. Once you've done this once you'll obviously know which of the two ranges your tank lands in and you'll be able to decide which test to use normally. Um, okay, let's start with the pH. So first of all, we need to rinse your little test tube in some water that we've taken from the tank that we're testing. That's that rinsed out. And then we're going to add our five millilitres of water, which is what we need to carry out the test. Before this, we use a little syringe, it just makes things a bit easier. We add the five millilitres of your test water. We take our pH test kit. And we have a little colour chart, which is going to show us what pH the water is. And on the back of it, we have the instructions on how to use the test kit. So we want to flip the card over, follow the instructions. So with the pH, we add three drops of the test solution. You always hold the bottle vertically in order to get the correct size drop to enable you to get accurate test results. So the bottle straight up in the air, three drops into your test tube. Pop your little cap on, shake the valve. And then we're able to read pH of our water. And that's showing us right at the top of the test scale. Now we're going to do another test just to determine whether or not um, this test has passed the top of the test scale by using the high range pH test kit. So once again we rinse our valve with some water from the aquarium that we're testing. And then we fill it with the 5 millilitres of water as required for the test. Once again, the high range pH test kit. Instructions are on the back. This time we're adding five drops of test solution. Put our little cap on again. Shake the valve. And then we're going to read our pH. So with this one, it's showing a 7.8. That indicates that the initial test we had done, the pH had gone above the range of that test and we needed to use the higher range test kit to get an accurate result and it's showing us a pH of 7.8. Now whenever you're doing your tests, the most important part is to record your results and keep the date so that you're able to go back and see any improvements or any worsening of the test results over a period of time. So I've got my little pad and I'm going to write the date on here. 3rd of July. I'm going to record the pH of our water, which was 7.8. And that's a completed pH test. We'll move on to the others. So the next one we're going to do is ammonia, which is possibly the most common problem that most new um, most newcomers to fish keeping are going to have. So once again we rinse the valve and add 5 millilitres of water. We're going to flip our little card over for the instructions again. Now this one requires two bottles and it's quite important that you follow the instructions exactly. So we shake both bottles vigorously to ensure that our chemicals are properly mixed and then we get an accurate result. Okay. And we're going to start with bottle one and we add eight drops to our valve again, holding the bottle upright. Put the lid on and we add eight drops from bottle two. Cap our test tube and 
shit the bottle. Shit the bottle, sorry. Now this one requires a five minute development time. And the development time is quite important, so you need to time from when you have done your test to when you're going to read it. I'm going to pop that on there and leave it for five minutes. Now we'll move on to the next test while that one is developing for us. The next one we're going to do is nitrite. Again, rinse your valve with the water to be tested. And add five millilitres of water to the test tube. Flip our little card for the instructions. And we just need five drops of the nitrite test solution. Place the cap on your test tube. Just mix the solution. And again, the nitrite test requires five minutes development time. We're going to set that next to our ammonia and let the two of them develop together whilst we do the last test, which is nitrate. Again, we're going to rinse our test valve. We're going to add our five millilitres of water. We're going to flip our card over and follow the instructions. Now with the nitrate test, it's very important that you follow the instructions to the letter in order for it to work. So we're going to take bottle number one, shake it vigorously, and we're going to add 10 drops to our test tube. We're going to shake the test tube, and mix our chemical before we add second bottle. Now with the second bottle you need to shake the bottle vigorously for 30 seconds before adding it. If you don't do that you'll get a false result. So we're going to add our nitrate test solution, 10 drops again into our test tube. And we need to shake test tube for one minute and we just gently turn it over. Now we're going to leave that develop. Again the nitrate test requires five minute development time. I'm going to set that to one side and allow our colour to develop. And we should be able to go back at this stage and we'll just begin to read our test results. As we said earlier, ammonia is one of the most toxic chemicals to fish. It comes from the breakdown of food, decaying plant matter, and from the fish's own waste. Any level of ammonia above the first two steps on the chart will cause the death of fish if they're um, exposed to it for any length of time. As we can see with this test, we've got a very bad result and the fish in this tank would be dead or dying um, if this was the case. We're somewhere between the two highest levels on the chart, between 4 and 8. So we record the result at 6. An ammonia level of this um, in your aquarium would require immediate corrective action before you lost all the fish. That's a very dangerous level. Now we're going to go on and check our nitrate. Sorry, our nitrite. Our nitrite in this test sample is ever so slight reading off it. It's not quite zero. It has a slight tinge of lilac to it, which means it's about the first one on the test scale. 0.25. Now again nitrite is toxic to fish and at this level, even at this low level, your fish would be showing some symptoms. They might be gasping on the surface, they might have clamped fins, they might be hanging in a corner of the tank and not being very active. Now our ammonia that we started with is broken down by bacteria 
and turns into nitrite. So this test would indicate that over the next few days, as this ammonia begins to break down and the level lowers, that our nitrite level will begin to rise. So although this will become safer, this one will get more and more toxic. Now again, our corrective action that we would be taking to combat the ammonia, um, which would mainly be water changes and the addition of some chemical removing agent to your filter of your tank, would stop that happening. We would remove the ammonia straight away and therefore it's not in the system able to break down into nitrite. Now the final one of our tests that we're doing today is nitrate and it is what both ammonia and nitrite break down into. And this accumulates over time in the aquarium and at high levels um, will cause minor problems with your fish. Um, they won't have as long a lifespan, show as brighter colours, they won't grow as well um, if this is quite high. Now on our test results today, it's approximately middle of the test results. This would indicate that over time the maintenance of the aquarium hasn't quite been um, enough. You would maybe need to carry out more water changes on a more regular basis to keep this at a slightly lower level. In most freshwater aquariums it will hover somewhere around the pale orange colour. Today we have a reading of approximately 40 which is about as high as we would want it to be in any tank, in any tropical tank. Now that completes our tests.